Hi guys, welcome to this week's Urban Uncut and we are on our way to our nation's capital. The old smoke. <laughs> <laughs> be quite a spectacle for people to see yeah, you don't, you don't like, see Cullinan's do you and then no. you don't see kitted up Cullinan's yeah half a million pounds worth of no flash four tons worth how, how much do these weigh yeah I mean they're about I bet about three ton aren't they now speaking of which the spectre is probably going to be about four ton because yeah. it's a, electrical battery life yes eight minutes <laughs> <laughs> under load four <laughs> <laughs> So we've been invited by Rolls-Royce London to come down and see their Spectre. It was only fitting that we travelled down in luxury, so we have treated ourselves. We have used the stock car. It will only put 100 miles on it. I said to you, like, do you want me to book out a Golf? Do you want me to book out the Golf, or do we take your RSQ8 that you're currently driving? Like, no, let's take the Cullen. We're going to Rolls-Royce. Yes. It's very, very fitting to take our Rolls-Royce Cullen down to Rolls Royce. This don't to get a sneaky picture <laughs> outside. This don't half get some looks though, does it? it we does. literally just had a lorry driver going like yeah. that. <laughs> so Rolls Royce Spectre, even though lots of people have seen it, we was at Goodwood, it was there because of the shower of rubbish that Goodwood was this year. Weather, but weather, not, yeah, the not weather. so much the yeah, organisation. Yeah, the weather. Yeah. Um, I didn't even get to see it. Did no. you see it? No, I didn't. I didn't. I'm really excited about this one because the Wraith is the Wraith Black Badge is probably my top your three fav favourite yeah, cars. Your favorites, wasn't it? Um, and this very much looks like the Wraith because it is the Wraith replacement. But is it on? The, it won't be on the same. Not same platform, but the, I mean, like the two door coupe shape. Um, but you know, a lot of people in the motor trade are talking about electric cars at the moment and how they have sort of fallen off a little bit. <sighs> Um, I'm saying falling off a little down. bit. They're yeah. still going down, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's interesting that Rolls-Royce have bought out a full electric car, but when you think about it, with how smooth and beautiful this Cullinan drives, electric actually lends itself quite well to Rolls-Royce, doesn't it? I mean, whether, whether Rolls-Royce is just going to be so far outside that electric car crash mm. and it can carry it, who knows? The, the market is all over the place at the moment, as we know, but I agree with you. I think that the quietness of the car is going to be made even quieter. Yeah. We'll probably ruin that by putting 22 inch wheels. And <laughs> low profile. <laughs> and a, low profile and a load of carbon all yeah. over it. But obviously, we, we've been invited down by Rolls Royce. Uh, they've said that we can film, which is fantastic. We'll do a little bit of a re review on the, on the Spectre, our first thoughts on it and maybe some ideas on what we're going to do to the car. Mm. I think we should have took the handheld scanner and scanned it in the showroom, but we might, we might have got busted for that. So yeah. yeah. So first part of the challenge, try and park this in the middle of Mayfair. We're going to get a ticket today. Yeah. We're just, we're, we're residing to the Well, fact. to be fair, I mean, you, you park up for three hours in London, it's about the same price as a fine anyway, so you might as well just risk it. I and mean, also, have you seen those trucks that are lifting up like they lifted a new Range Rover the other day. The parking at Wardens are like, yeah. they're like that. <laughs> yes, we'll have that. <laughs> I mean, how they? I don't even think they would get it underneath this. But that's going to be the first challenge: parking this beast. Yeah, I mean, I did a little bit of lorry driving in in London in my early twenties, but I'm more nervous driving driving this than than a big big eighteen. Well, it's got lorry. twelve thousand pounds worth of wheels. All on right, it as well, all right, all right, all right, all okay. right. And we gave the media team lots of <sighs> this morning for scratching alloys so if you do that today look look look, look. look. see what London we're, we're inside the M25 and we're already seeing madness and someone's come inside us already you're like motorbikes <laughs> like buses Ubers people on bikers what? bikers lists he don't know what he's doing he don't know where he's going 
he's still indicating he, he don't he's know getting what, he, he's getting bib like this is it's chaos Look, move over. We're, li- we're literally two minutes inside the M35 for him he's looking down at his dash I think he's texting he's swiping right <laughs> like come on bruv Whoa. Ooh. Ooh there. <laughs> Curb noises. <laughs> little journey past our friendly competition over Finch. Wave out the window. 1.7 miles, 14 minutes. That's borderline being able to walk quicker. Yeah, easy. We've done 40. Right, the chances of two Rolls Royces colours side by side. Yeah. <laughs> He's just such a <laughs> head. <laughs> it's literally a London cab and this, and he's turned around and said two cars side by side. Do we have an anti-hijack on? We have locked doors. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I'm covering my watch. Right, take, you take your time, mate. Come on, Colin. Take your time, mate. Don't ever go to London in a car. Only get the train. Right guys, so I'm at my second favourite place in the world, of course, after whoa, whoa, Urban. Whoa, 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 Holly should be your second oh, favourite. There's place. no place like home. So third favourite place <laughs> in the world, Rolls-Royce London, and we're surrounded by some absolutely stunning vehicles. It's a beautiful showroom, but more importantly, the brand new Rolls-Royce Spectre. Simon, first impressions. I'm just like blown away by this. It's beautiful. It's actually bigger than what, what I expected. I, yeah. I was thinking Just Wraith, Wraith. Wraith and Dawn size, but yeah. it's not, it's almost like Phantom Drop Phantom, yeah. like Phantom Coupe. Yeah. It's, I mean, 24 inch wheels are standard. That's standard. <laughs> I mean, it means we're gonna have to go to 24s. Um, I mean, the, the design and the cues, I'm already thinking of some ideas of what I wanna do with it, but. Oh. What a beautiful, oh. beautiful car. There's I'm not a speechless. huge amount that we can say about speechless. it. Right, so I'm going to leave Simon to do all the, the technical designery the stuff, stuff yeah, while thanks. I just go to the specification room and have a little look around and spec my own spec car. That room is special. It's beautiful. So first of all, I'd like to thank HR Owen for giving us a little bit of time with the Spectre. Obviously, these cars are rare at the moment. Each showroom's only getting them for a certain amount of days. So it's great that we've got this little opportunity to come in and see exactly what we can do with a car. So from a parts perspective, we have 23 inch wheels as standard. Like we said earlier, we're gonna have to push the offset out slightly and maybe go up to 24. Definitely can't be 26, but 24s is almost certain. And we just have to see whether we get the turning circle right inside the arches as well, so we can come out with a slight offset. Look at the size of this front wing, it is huge. I'm not sure whether we can get some wider fenders on there and come up with an arch as well. It'll look fantastic if it gives the car some extra whip, which not a lot of people will do that. So on the front, we've got these new cool DRLs put into the top of the car. Maybe we can marry that up with some DRLs at the bottom. They've got a new spirit of ecstasy as well. And I'm told that there's 800 hours of additional design that went into just this. 800 hours of design, which is crazy. We've got a new front grill. Obviously we'll incorporate a black grill for our look. I think on this car, we won't go for any bumper replacement. We'll just go for um, add-on components. One will be a front splitter, and I've already checked on the car. Unfortunately for us, this front splitter isn't removable, so it's gonna to have to be an add-on piece that goes over the top or underneath. It's a real shame, because if this split from here, we could complete our design with the bottom. So we have the signature coach lines down the side, a little bit different to normal. Normally it runs round the front of the arch and down there, but they've cut it off short front and back. 
You've got the suicide opening doors. Inside is plush, we'll look at that shortly. Lower sills down the side. We've got this real cool cutout design here. And I think we can probably elaborate on that in a sill that comes down the side and mixes in with the front splitter on the, on the front there. Just will lower the center of the gravity on the car, giving you that wider lower look, which I think will look absolutely plush. One thing with the wheels that I'm considering, the factory wheel looks absolutely amazing. This new whole futuristic wheel electric look is something that we have to adopt in aftermarket because with electric and new technology, the manufacturers have already gone to sort of like groundbreaking designs on wheels. So that's a real challenge for us to make an aftermarket wheel that looks aftermarket, but yet still beats the original wheel. Tough one, that. So at the back, I'm getting real like, Rafe and Dawn vibes round here with the, the whole sloping back. I think we can probably come round here and have a nice lip spoiler rather than anything too garish, just so it, it carries on and gives us a nice swooping back on there. Rear diffuser is big already and it's got strakes underneath, slopes round the side. You know, this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge to, to, to bring something up underneath and make it more aggressive. Maybe it will be in three parts we've got parts down the side here and then something coming underneath. But the lines of this car are beautiful. As you look down the side, the sloping back, it's, it's, it's a picture from pretty much every angle. And we're super excited to get our hands on one of these. First thing I noticed about the interior is that they haven't really changed a huge amount, and I quite like that because they don't really need Steering to. Steering wheel looks the same. Yeah, all you this, the, the the temperature controls, the um, still feel like you're in the same car. Yeah, which is fine by me because it's it's Rolls Royce. It's what Rolls Royce do best. It's still a very very nice place to be. The the digi dash is slightly different. But all the controls are steering wheel, starlight roof starlight lining. Roof lining. Don't yeah. they do starlight doors in this? Now? Yeah, this hasn't got that as an option, but in the door cars, you can have the starlights in, here, in the doors in as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's your typical, beautiful Rolls-Royce interior. I like the new seat. The, the new seats are actually quite sporty as well. Mm. Um, they've got some nice lumbar support in here. The piping is really nice as well. Mm -hmm. And the new design on the seat backs yeah. with, the, with the little um, sort of metal clasps holding the lever in look amazing. Mm. So maybe a few months we'll hopefully be lucky enough to to get hold of one and drive one because yeah. I'll be really interested to see how it compares to the, the V12. Yeah, uh, but it's yeah, just well, going to be beautiful, yeah, isn't it? Stunning. We already know. We yeah. already know it's going to be beautiful. I'm excited for this. I think we should go back to HQ and start to work on some designs. In the departure lounge. Ronnie and Reggie. Two. Ronnie and Reggie, the bad twins. <laughs> <laughs> the mean they looking are. bad twins. It does look it does look good, doesn't it? That's so it does, cool. It does look good. So I'll just I've, I've got a bit of a bad I've been waiting 20 minutes for you. So I've just I've just I've been busy. I've been busy. Meetings about meetings. Let me just get up. Listen, Sorry. I know that obviously this has been a huge success and I don't expect to do the Spectre in the same way. I know we've obviously just left London and it's all fresh in our yeah. heads and everything. But I don't think we should do bumper replacement on the Spectre. No? No. I think it should be splitter seals. I basically said no, but now I'm edging back towards the, This is the problem, isn't it? You are, yeah. like, these look so good. Yeah. Does a Spectre warrant a, a full bumper replacement? Uh, I mean, is it going to be a really popular car in the UK? Like the Cullinan has been really good for us, isn't it? Really I popular. I think it's going to be America. Yeah, the like Spectre's the Ghost. It's going to be America. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? It's a big car. I didn't realise it was going to be that big. Yeah. 
what, like phantom drop phantom head, drop head size rather size, than a wraith yeah. replacement, yeah. So I think we have to enhance it rather than change it. Although, facelift one of this is coming out in 2025 as well. Right, okay. So whether they'll go more edgy and more like, you know, like, mm. you know, sharp, like yeah. Spectre. I don't know. What these, do you look, these look so cool though, don't they? They look really, really good. Really good. If you do half the job on the specs you have on these. Maybe, maybe. Maybe the first time round as well. That's right. Yeah, yeah, we won't mess it up yeah. this time. <laughs> what do you reckon, guys? Do you reckon we should rip the Spectre apart and change all of the bumpers and go wide body and go crazy? Or do we just enhance it? Do we just put spoiler, splitter, diffuser, front lip, bonnet, arches wheels as well it's got lot, wheels as well it's got 23s already 23s are standard and they look futuristic mm. you can't put an old style wheel on that spec it was just going to look like these these would i don't think would quite work on no, there would they no so you've got to come up with something completely new completely radical mm. yeah not going to be easy what do you guys reckon to the spectre get in the comments you know the drill tell us what you think and then we'll just do it. Yeah, and I'll be interested to hear what people think about the electric thing as well. So whether you're bought into the EV world or you're, or, or you're not, Rolls always kind of suits it, doesn't it? Because it's linear, smooth power, quiet. quiet. Yeah. So if there was any brand that was going to take EV and make it good, and from reports that I've heard already from the Spectre, it it's is incredible. It is the best car ever. Yeah. Apparently that is the statement. The Spectre is the best car ever. So whether you buy into EV or not, maybe it just suits the Rolls-Royce brand. Yeah. Get your half a million pounds out. <laughs> On that note, we'll see you next week.